Okay, in this problem we're asked to verify that x squared plus xy plus y squared equals 3 uh, defines x as a function of y near the point p equals 1, 1. And then we're asked to calculate the partial derivative of x with respect to y at p. Okay, so we know that anywhere, so if we, if we give this function a name f, so f of xy, So if we, if we give this function a name, f, we know that anywhere the partial derivative of f with respect to x is non-zero, then we can implicitly define a function x, or we can implicitly define x as a function of y in this case, since there's only one other variable. So we want to calculate our partial derivative of f with respect to x and see if at the point p it is non-zero. So first, a good check is just to make sure that um, our point p is actually on the level curve that we're looking at. So So f of 1, 1 is equal to 3, check, and now we want to calculate our partial derivative of f with respect to x, and then evaluate that at p. So our partial derivative of f with respect to x is equal to 2x plus y. And when we evaluate that at p, we get uh, our value is 3, which is obviously not 0. So that means that we can define x as a function of y near p, and, we'll, and that means that we can calculate our partial derivative of x with respect to y at p, and our implicit function theorem tells us that it's the negation of the partial derivative of f with respect to y over the partial derivative of f with respect to x. So we need to calculate the partial derivative of f with respect to y. We get x plus 2y and evaluated at our point p is equal to 3. So again, we, so our, our partial derivative of f with respect to x at p is 3, and our partial derivative of f with respect to y at p is also 3. So we want to calculate the partial derivative of x with respect to y, and that's negation of 3 over 3, or just negative 1. So we verified that um, f, or yeah, that f defines x as a function of y near p, and that, and then we calculated our partial derivative of x with respect to y.